All right. Um, I have a uh, a few coins here. Um, uh, as you know, I uh, I'm an avid coin collector and I also like metal detecting. So um, metal detect for coins. Um, and so this is what I've found this year so far. I've been metal detecting for two years. Found quite a few weird things that I think this may be the most bent up penny I've ever found in my life. 18, or er, excuse me, oh, that'd be great, 1982 Zinky, and uh, Zink, Copper Zink coin, and it is really badly bent, I don't know if you can see how bent that is, but, I mean, that's, that's, um, that's not good, <laughs> um, you know, I found a ton of clad, there's a, another Zink, Memorial Reverse, 90s, I think. Just found that today, actually. 98. Um. But, here's the good stuff. Um. A few weeks ago, I was metal detecting in my yard, and I got a real nice bicentennial. I really have no idea how well you can see that. I don't have the best camera in the world on my webcam. Uh, but, I think. Hopefully you can still see that pretty well. I haven't been able to clean it up all that much. Still pretty nice. Always fun to find. Um, let's see here. Let's see what wheat. I got several wheat so far this season. In my wheat. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can see it all that well, but that is a 66B. And then I have 1950 Denver. Pretty good shape. And I also have horrible looking 51 Denver. Not too good. <laughs> Probably say it's very good, fine. Not all that nice. I got a 45. Get extra fine. Oops. Whoa, I just dropped it on the keyboard. I don't think I've ever done that in a video before. Um. And I have a 57 and 58, both sent from the Denver Mint. Both of them brought up. So those are my weeks for this year. Uh, so far, anyway. Uh, this is... I'm not doing, uh, this year for buffs, because I haven't... I've only found two buffs this year. But this is my all-time, uh, amount of buffs. Right here, I got four buffs. This is all from metal detecting. I got a really cool coin. 37, I think it's S. See it all that well with my horrible camera, but S ain't mark. I'm barely able to see it. Uh, anyway, so then I have a. Here we go. I have. I found this on Ludington Beach. Uh, this is actually in one of my videos. It's a 1920 Buffalo Nickel. I think it has a demon mark. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty well worn. Um, and I, I mean, it, was, it was 8 inches down. So, yeah, that was pretty nice. Um. I I just found this one. <laughs> um, just found this in my front yard. In 1936. Real nice shape. Look at the horn on the buffalo there. Fine. Fine, maybe very fine. Um, I'll see if I can get pictures uh, for you. Maybe on a different video or maybe the same uh, video. I'll have a... Uh, 
a little add-on on the screen. I forget what you call those, but I'll have one of those on the screen. Um, oh no, I have one more box. Uh, this one. Which one might this? Yes, this is a date list. Just a regular old date list box. Uh, no, it's a peanut. Um, okay, now for the good stuff. Um, the silver and something even cooler. Uh, I have two silvers, uh, for the season. Oh, strike that. Uh, three. Um, hold on just a sec. Oh, here we go. Found it. Alright. Yeah. Um, so, I have three silvers. Sorry about that. And something pretty darn cool as well. Uh, um, I have two mercs. I have a damaged 42S. Well worn, that's for sure. And has that nasty nick. Oh, did I do that? Shoot, I think I might, I might have done that. That's not good. Uh, yeah, I think I did that. But, if you can see the S. Well, if I hold it right, maybe you can. I, good. Yeah, you can see the S mark there. And I got as well. Oh, nice, just a 42p. It's reverse. Most of the fast, pretty blurry, but you can see most of the fast is on there, which is nice. Um, or if I had a better webcam, I could show you better. Um, and this is my most recent silver. I found this at my grandparents. State or house, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and this is a nickel. It's a 43 Philadelphia. It's got some pretty nasty corrosion spots on the obverse and reverse, but hey, that's how you find them. Uh, which is unfortunate sometimes, but the way it goes. And then the best find of the year, and my personal favorite, 1890 Indian head scent. Great shape too. It's like hmm. look at the, take a look at that. All the letters in the headband are real clear. Yeah. And I'm sorry about the blue light. It's my stupid webcam. I hate that. A tiny bit of reverse corrosion, but other than that, it's a pretty nice coin. So that is my uh inventory of uh, metal detecting fun so far, and uh, just to let you know, I'm using a really cheap metal detector. Um, I think I got it when I was seven, and I'm still using this thing because I haven't saved up enough money to buy a Garrett or an Ace 250 or something. So um, I'm just using a Radio Shack metal detector that I bought for ten bucks, and um, I'm still finding a lot of neat stuff. Uh, so. Uh, Please comment and subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.